Velma. Velma. Oh, Velma. Now, this is gonna be incredibly unpopular. Super unpopular, I'm gonna be real. But I actually think Velma did a pretty good job. Whoa, 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 RDF. Are you on crack? Are you on cocaine? There ain't no way you said this fucking TV show was ass. I mean, I've seen the trailers. I think it's literal dog shit. Wait, whoa, whoa. Have you actually watched the TV show? Have you seen it? Have you legitimately went through every single episode? Well, I mean, not really. So, I don't know. I think you should at least watch it before you rush to a fucking judgment, okay? You should actually give it a chance. It might actually interest you. Now, don't get me wrong. There was some definite things that were low-key fucking whack. For example, there was no Scooby, and uh, they definitely did change all the characters, you know. Uh, Velma, Loki, kind of a cunt, truth be told, but she, I think it was justified. I think it was justified, unpopular opinion. They also made her dark as fuck, too, and, uh, you know, I mean, she's Indian, so she has to be dark as fuck. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying, but, you know, your boy's Indian, so, I mean, shit, they could have a light-skinned Indian. I don't know, man. Uh, they made, uh, Velma, my bad, Daphne, a hot Asian redhead. I, I personally don't know how the fuck that shit happens, because the majority of Asians don't have red hair. Naturally red hair, so it makes no fucking sense with that at least. Um, but who knows? Who knows? I'm not fucking judging and shit. Then her mom lesbians, you know, inclusivity, W. Fred, uh, Loki a bit of a bitch. I'm gonna keep it real though. Fred, I mean, damn, bro. But hey, man, he got he got Loki la pussy though. I mean, he, I mean, you know, he, he kind of pulled them. But at that exact same time, they kind of killed him, truth be told. I mean, especially with the scene and him in the fucking courtroom when he tried to cut that steak. That was an L. But you know what? I think it was all worth it because you know what? Inclusivity. I mean, I'm not done. Yet. I'm not done yet too. Uh, they made Shaggy into a black guy that smokes weed and is a Twitch streamer. Okay, no fucking clue why he's a Twitch streamer and he's a weed smoker and he smoke and he does that shit. But you know, whatever, whatever. Anyways, you know, it, it's very good in my opinion because you have to look beyond that. Sure, they may be changing things, but change for change is oftentimes good. Because they are including a lot more people than they previously were doing that. Before, it was just a bunch of fucking white people and a dog that talks random fucking shit. But now it's more inclusive, okay? Now it's diverse from a whole group of characters, ethnicities, and racial minorities, is it not? I think it did a lot. And it definitely did. There's also lesbians. There's actually a, a lot of lesbians there, truth be told. I mean, Velma was a lesbian. Daphne was a lesbian. Daphne's mom was a lesbian. I mean, shit, bro, there's hella fucking lesbians. I'm, not, I'm actually a fan of that, W. I think there should be more lesbian inclusion. No gay motherfuckers now. I honestly low-key thought Fred was gonna switch over, but nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being part of the LGBTTIIQIA plus community. Nothing wrong with that. But I low-key thought they were gonna do that because they just fucking had to. Anyways, it was really diverse representation, which is good, plus, mad plus. There was female empowerment. How many shows had in recent times have you legitimately seen a woman take control? You just haven't. It just doesn't fucking exist in modern day America. But this is one of the shows that shows it's possible. It's possible to make a show that has potential, okay? And not, and not just that, there was a lot of LGBTQIA plus, a plus Q, shit, LGBTQIA plus community representation in that area. It legitimately was. There was a lot, okay? A lot of lesbians, you know, as I said previously. And it did pretty good at that. It showed that it's not different. It was accepting. And it also, it also gave some mad fucking screen things. If you actually look at the pictures and how they made this shit, it actually looks pretty cool. How they did the graphics of the TV show and how all the thing, people acted and shit. It was actually pretty cool drawing and shit, you know? But, I mean, realistically, the, the plot ain't that bad. Basically, it's about how Velma and, uh, I guess her group, Velma's Loki a bitch, though, to her whole friend, friend group. She's just trying to find her mom, and, uh, because her mom disappeared. And his dad kind of moved on. I mean, not, that's that. I mean, my, I'll go recap, recap, my bad, that's something. Basically, it's how Velma tries to refind her mother because her mom dippity dipped. And she eventually did that. And in my honest opinion, I think the plot sort of made no fucking sense. But... Who fucking knows? Give you a hint. You know, guess who? Guess who committed the crime? You know? I don't know. But yeah, it was fucking Fred. Family. Fred's family. So, I mean, poetic, really. So, uh, and I think it, not just that. It modernizes that. It modernizes a pastime thing. I've already said that. Fuck. Anyways, it just talks about how different things. Sure, the show could be looked at as 
dog shit and complete ass, but you have to give it some added benefits because it's groundbreaking. It's truly revolutionary. You ain't seen nobody doing this shit. Have you? Have you? No, you haven't. So that's why it's just the first thing in a lot of changes. For example, in the future, I personally, personally, hope they do a remake of all the Boomerang TV shows. They were all bangers. For example, the next TV show I hope they remake would be... Fuck, I don't know, Dexter, you know? Dexter could have been, you know, dark. He could have been a dark-skinned motherfucker. Or a different nationality, doesn't have to do that shit. Or some other fucking random TV shows. Look at the Powerpuff Girls, okay? They could have been inclusive of other races. You know what, how about we have a Powerpuff Girl from every single ethnicity. So it's all inclusive. Sure, that might be a lot, but realistically, we have to adapt to modern day times. America is not a one racial country. We gotta move on. You know, you heard it. You know. Also, so W Velma, fuck all you haters. If you haven't watched it, I don't think you can talk about it. Uh, that's straight.